What's up, sluts? I'm Grain Dawson, and today I'm going to be celebrating Avengers Endgame by shoving all of the MCU movies into a tier list a whole month after Endgame and tier lists have stopped trending. So let's start off with the obvious shit. Everybody's thinking it. We're just going to put Endgame, Infinity War, and Winter Soldier all on F tier. Fuck these movies. They're so bad. They don't even have Lightning McQueen in them. Now, now the Cars trilogy. Those got Lightning McQueen, so let's let's bring the Cars trilogy up to S tier. What's next? What's next? Oh, well, I'm gonna have to put uh, my boy Spider-Man: Homecoming in A tier, cause I don't I don't care what anyone says about Cap's ass. Peter Parker has the best ass in cinema history. Finally, some good fucking food. Following that, Thor The Dark World, S tier, obviously. Expertly crafted screenplay, super interesting characters all around. Uh, like like the villain, uh, Devin, I think his name was. I got, a, I got a raging hog for Devin. I have the most awkward boner! Uh, bam, what else do we got? The, the entire DC movie universe is definitely one of Marvel's weirder movies that doesn't really connect to the rest at all. But it's not all bad, so let's stick it and see, right in the middle of the pack there. Up next, we got KY Water Based Lubricant. Really helped me slap the goober thinking about Devin. Nice. Uh, let's put that in A tier. Only thing holding it back is it doesn't really have a defined character arc. Chaotic Neutral Avengers Volume 2. Superb story all around. I love raccoons and I love chicks with antenna, and this movie had all of that. Only issue I had was that uh, I don't know, I don't know if it was a mistake, but they kept forgetting to wipe all of that blue all that blue makeup off of Michael Rooker before filming the scenes. It was really distracting and, and lessened the effect of some of the more emotional scenes. Oh well, uh, B for blue. Next up, Liam Neeson. I will find you, and I will kill you. Should go without saying, B tier. We got the Game of Thrones Starbucks cup. Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Just really good seeing him finally get some work. C for coffee. Next, we got that annoying pissant who always makes it a point to say that they don't watch Game of Thrones. God, get a load of this guy. F tier for sure. Wait a minute, I don't, I don't watch Game of Thrones either. <laughs> Coming in at number 6, we got a Ass Avengers porn parody, Episode 3, Ass Avengers Assemble. Continuing the tradition of MCU movies experimenting with genre, we finally got our first look at what the Avengers do when they're not fighting omnipotent wrinkly grapes. And it's, that's alright. Nice. C tier, middle of the pack. Uh, next up we got Thor Ragnarok. I, I can't even bring myself to joke about this one. I just fucking love this movie. Uh, it's not even gonna go on this tier list. I'm, it's gonna be S tier on my actual tier list here. Fucking phenomenal movie. Next up is Campbell's Chunky Potato Soup. Lots of nutrients in this beautiful slop. It's got two of my favorite things in it. Potato and chunk. A for a good soup. Next up is Avatar. Love this one. The story blows ass, but I just love seeing all those little blue twinks hopping around Pandora. D tier. The OG Avengers goes in the A category. And finally, to top it all off, the video where Luke kills Yoda goes beyond the call of duty when it comes to delivering premium entertainment. I don't know. I feel like... Be like what? <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a tier of its own. I'm bringing it to the Yoda dies tier. Little fucker had it coming. Uh, anyway, that's it. Bye.